Greetings all esteemed Fuxa, and welcome, or welcome back to, Birth of the Empires. So, I'll note that for those basically viewing this, like, you know, this video for Birth of the Empires for the first time, I actually have another playlist for this game already on my YouTube channel for the Carter Invaders. And I had a good game of them where I basically, like, you know, went through, like, you know, laid a smackdown on, like, you know, sort of, like, the other, like, powers in, like, the universe. And, you know, I had a good run of it. But now we're going to basically start again. This time, with the Heian Trade Union. The Heian Trade Union. Or Heian, I guess it is, but whatever. Anyhow, I'm not going to be basically as newbie friendly to some around, I don't think, so... Um, I'm not really going to be basically explaining a lot of, like, what I'm doing. I'm just, like, you know, just going to be playing it. And I will, like, try and, like, you know, show off, like, a, you know... I'll talk about some stuff that basically I wasn't able to really talk to, like, you know, with the character invaders, but for the most part... It'll just be like, you know, a feel like, you know, stair run for a game, I guess we'll say. Just like go from start to finish and it's like, you know, there's something to learn, hope you'll learn it, and just, get, you know, let's go along from there. On the way, we're going to basically keep the same settings that they have, like, with, like, the character invaders. So, we'll have 25 width, we'll have basically 15 height. We'll have a star density of, like, 25. And we'll have an, uh, a normal density of 10. And, you know what? To make things interesting... Let's show off impossible differently. Let's go. Alright, so here's the map. I can't really see much of it, but we're apparently over here in like the um, top uh, right corner this time around, as opposed to being like, you know, down here in the corner. So we're kind of like where, where the Terrence basically started, I guess, in this game, in like my last run. Though, who knows where else, um, everyone else will be. I have access to a scout and a, a colony ship, but we're to hit on true and on true units, so we'll have a lot more soon. Affirmative. Affirmative. This is it right now. Right then, so what I want to do here to start. The thing about the hay and trainers is that they're actually very good about making money, so it doesn't really hurt me as much basically to build a bunch of trash like you know class um you know uh colony ships basically do stuff with. So we're going to go into ship design here. I'm going to basically draw... Oh, okay, they don't have anything on it anyway, so... Alright, zero shields, that's fine. I'm okay with this. I thought they actually had shields, but I guess they don't. Alright, well, we're just going to buy ourselves a bunch of, like, you know, tier class colony ships. And we're just going to start colonizing like crazy. Okay, I have a little bit of money base to start off with, and, like, we'll be getting a lot more soon. And, of course... We're just going to bump up our propulsion tech, so basically going to, like, you know, explore more of the world. We have discovered new alien customers. Alright, so I just found the Cleniers. So these guys are a hostile um, species that's, like, you know, regularly developed, and they've got very low corruptibility. You can read a little bit about their dialect there, so they're basically, you know, violence glorifying, stuffy little marionettes and stuff like that. And I got the Block Leader Bureau down here, where basically, like, you know, they get an extra morale, as well as an internal security bonus when I, like, you know, have them around my, in my empire. So, they have a very small system over here, and about, you know, a little under 20 billion people, but they'll have more soon, probably, in, in the future. Affirmative. Over here, my college ship basically found this sector with, like, 45 billion max population of, like, free Arctic worlds, so... Yep, let's go terraform. Affirmative. And we'll basically get this all underway. And it's nice thing with like the like you know the hand uh, like you know the um hey on here. You just like go nuts basically buy a bunch of colony ships basically like you know colonize like crazy, so that's what I'm gonna do. There is a diplomatic message pending. Well, they declare war on us apparently, so we're already at war with someone, but you know, this is the my power and that's just gonna happen sometimes. Those guys are also probably at war with us in the future, but whatever. We'll get to them when we get to them. Affirmative. Affirmative. You're gonna go here. It's your money, so pick a planet to terraform. Terraform, terraform, terraform. Alright, we're only gonna buy like the free like colonies that I can like get at the start here, and then like, you know, 
we'll start base developing on my homeworld here a little bit, so... I'll probably buy like seven basic research labs, I'll buy like, you know, two titanium, like, you know, mines here. Let's go from there. It's your money, so pick a planet to terraform. That never gets old, does it? Affirmative. Alright, let's go over here a few. And isn't the background music very nice compared to the character invaders? This is very, very pleasant. Alright, there's a real possibility I can possibly colonize. But let's try and like, get this one out of the way first. So pick a planet to terraform. And... It's your money, so pick a planet to terraform. That's perfect, just like, you know, get that world right there first, I guess. Affirmative. Now what will I find over here? Ooh, nice sector over here. That'll be very, very quick to basically, like, you know, terraform right away, and then, like, you know, just go from there. So let's have you go over here. And I want to basically, like, you know, get some, like, you know, colonies right away, so... Colonization is underway. Let's get this one colonized right away. Affirmative. Let's go over here with you. Affirmative. This system belongs to the Heon Trade Union. We are going to get rich. Rich, rich, rich. Terraforming is completed. That's what the Heon are all about, this game rich. It's your money, so pick a planet to terraform. Start terraforming that if I can. Nope, by the way, this planet also got colonized, like, you know, because I basically, like, you know, completed the same turn, so... We have, like, one more planet basically to colonize in here, and we're basically done. It probably actually would be more, you know, a better deal is to see well on the colony ships basically to get this done, but you know. Time is money, so to speak, in this game. You want to be very quick. Let's get ourselves pre premium markets right away. And free base engineering guilds. And free titanium mines. And by the way, everything has like a, you know, a description for it, so you know, there's like planet helicopter and blah blah for his like, you know, thing right here. And like, you know, the engineering guild and all this stuff. Cool, I can get a new trade route if I find someone to trade with. These guys are very big on trading this, like, you know, this faction I'm playing right now, but whatever. And there we go, we got ourselves a continuum drive. I'll need a little bit more basically get you know anywhere in this game, but that's fine. It'll start us off a little bit. It's your money, so pick a planet to terraform. We'll quickly terraform that planet there and we'll just be done with it, I guess. Not a bad system this one, because it basically has a good maximum population, but. These plants will take a little bit to terraform. They won't be quick like the, you know, the two plants I basically have, like, you know, left over here, basically. But that's fine. They can be a little bit slow. From the of and there's the humans. So, the Federation knockoff in this game, the Coalition of Plants. Apparently over here. The Sputnik basically like dropped in, in here to say hi, I guess, but that's fine. Let's try and see if they want to trade these guys. So, let's offer them a, a trade, like, you know, deal. And if we can trade with them, I'll start trade with them. Now let's go from there. Affirmative. This gets you down over here. Now, I don't like the fact that the humans are so close to me because... They're basically right here, right? So... That's going to basically, like, you know, um, having me, like, start going down this way, I guess, to look for plants and such. But, oh well, that's fine. At least they're friendly to me. Sometimes these guys can be hostile, and it's not usually great to have them hostile in the first game. Or, like, in, in like, the 
first early bit of the game. They're building up that stuff fairly quickly over here, which is nice. This boost us up a little bit here. All my research basically get done. Uh, hail? There is a diplomatic message pending. I know, by the way, I hailed those guys because they were really friendly to me. So, it looks like they're actually okay with like you know me saying hi to them. Now, I'm not really too interested in getting a cooperation treaty with these guys, by the way, but. I will, like, you know, try and get the tray of them, so we'll just offer trade and I'll be it. We're just going to decline this. So they have a fire escape over here. That's, like, their basic scout unit, by the way. They actually don't actually start with, like, you know, um, until they build it, but, you know, I guess they built one already, and, like, you know, send out here with a spot neck here. Terraforming is completed. There is a diplomatic message pending. They accepted our uh, trade agreement as well as decline, you know, we declined cooperation, so we can trade them now. So there's Terra over there, and there's like Shijapa, their first like, you know, colony world. Colonization is underway. We're just gonna colonize right there, I think. And now this worked just fine. I have traders, of course, so let's make use of them. And we'll get a little bit of extra money basically off the humans here. Now, not that the hay on here, the trade union, they're basically all about trading with people, right? So, it very much benefits them to basically have like people to trade with like this. So, we'll basically get like a very, very rich in the early game here. And I got like build transfers and stuff to, like, you know, to like expand down here real fast if I can. At least that'll be my initial plan. Like, build like transports basically, like expand my range and stuff like that. So, that's what I'll be doing. There we go, my second colony. This will grow real fast because it's basically got lots of premium market, or you know, food basically make use of for my premium markets, so. Let's get that going. My food is 125%? Yeah, it's good. It's real good. <clears throat> now, note by the way, the only reason I didn't like, you know, deck the cooperation of these guys at the, um, the coalition is because they're very, very good about, like, getting, like, you know, miners on their side. And I mean, I could actually talk to this guy and possibly get the planners on their side right away, so... I want to basically avoid that, because I want to have, like, you know, a coalition plant right next to me, right, you know, next to my home world. So I want to basically avoid that for now. Affirmative. Affirmative. Let's go here and we'll see what's in this, like, sector right here, if I can colonize it or not. Nope, we're not going to take it, sorry. I will offer him friendship, though, because why not? Let's be friends. Fairly decent world down here. After I get this titanium mile, I'll probably just go after it, so... Let's quickly build that up. And another decent world down here. Cool. All right, let's have this guy basically get to work terraforming. And I'll go over here to Ham basically start pumping out the you know the uh, the disruption extractor. I'll basically need to actually produce those ships actually. There we go. It'll basically take me six turns to pump out the disruption extractor, and then we can just go from there. All right, so there we go. We got ourselves a little bit more there is a range. Message pending. I'll note that now I can make go a little bit far with these guys, like you know, with my like you know, range here. I'm tempted to send someone down here by the way to say hi, but you know, I'll note that if I send any like you know ships down there, they're probably gonna get blown to smithereens. So 
Not sure if I really want to do it. Affirmative. I'll send you right there, I guess. Affirmative. Can't receive six systems just yet, but we'll eventually get down to these guys over here. I'm not bothered with the, with the like, you know, the impossible, like, definitely, you have to really expand really fast to, you know, get anywhere, so... I definitely have to expand real quickly, so that'll be a thing. I definitely need to get that space dock up over here for sure. Terraforming is completed. Excellent. Colonization is underway. Immediately going to colonize this. This system belongs to the Heon Trade Union. And we're going to get rich. Yeah, it's very standard, like, you know, building stuff here. I just usually go for farms, then we go for, like, you know, everything that comes after that. Let's go over here and have a look around, I guess, first. I guess I can, like, uh, um, you know, go up to Propulsion Tech 3 if I want to. Propulsion Tech 3 will actually let me, like, you know, go a little bit farther with, like, my mirroring stuff, so, you know, my con ships can go a little bit further, which is nice. Those guys are done, apparently. Just because I can, I'm going to buy a space dock here. I got the money for it. I think this world here, I'm going to use it for science. So after I basically like get like the space dock here, we're going to start building up my basic research lab and stuff. So it'll be right after I build some premium markets for food. It says, you know, food. That'll work just fine, I think. <clears throat> I'll note that I don't get the director until next turn, so I got waiting our turn for this, I guess, over here, so... Over here in hand... We're just gonna wait. Let's build a single engineering guild for now, I guess. Alright, there we go, we got that built. And now... Tierish class, buy, go. Tierish class, buy, go. And literally I'm going to do this like every single turn until I get Colonist like crazy over here, right? So... Down here is probably where I want to go first, right? So... I suppose I really can't get down here until I can get like the more like, you know... Um, until I get more, like, you know, stuff, basically, to, like, you know, reach down here. I can't really reach down here, so... Oh, well. Before I forget, I want to build a Baron class here, so I can go check out the, you know... This is a minor race down here at Valdor, so... If you basically crawl from the Kartar, um, like, invaders... These guys are basically, like, a big fleet that I had to, like, go through in order to, like, meet them, and, like, you know, they're always blowing up my stuff, so... Gotta be very careful of them, I guess. There we go, got my scout. Tears class, go. Let's finally send someone over there, I guess. It's your money, so pick a planet to terraform. It's your money, so pick a planet to terraform. Go, go, go. Terraform. And I know I'm getting lots of money here, so like, you know, we can just like buy it like indefinitely for the most part with the hand, with the um, Heon. This isn't like the Cartier and Bears, by the way, where like they get to, like, you know, but they approve stuff like, you know, by hand for the most part for all the sectors. With the Heon here, basically, you just buy everything that you want, so. 
Bye bye bye. All right, these guys over here. They aren't struggling for food as much anymore, which is good. Let's try and build up a few basic research labs. Get those out of the way. Perfect. That's slowly going up. But whatever. Our investment in new technology has paid off. That's what I want to see. There is a diplomatic message pending. Um, I'm not that an alliance here, by the way. These guys are basically like, you know, be able to go for my territory. So we're going to say no to that for now. I might be your friends, but that's about it. All right, these guys over here don't have any food issues because they got all the, like, you know, production they, you know, can get down below. Let's fill up a space dock over here. And then we're pretty much just going to do the same thing over here as like, you know, research lab. So, start building these up like crazy. Boom. And of course, over here in Han. Affirmative. It's your money, so pick a planet to terraform. We go nuts and basically start terraforming everything. And yeah, I realize like I, I, I could be like spending like you know time like building up more stuff in here, but getting these colony ships out with the, with the helium really fast is important. So just colonize everything if I can. All right, so yeah, I know that these guys they have like you know powerful ships, but let's try and hail them. Nope, they just try to blow up my scouts, so they're gonna be hostile to me until I deal with them, I guess. Unfortunate, but well. Is this how that, like, you know, those guys are, basically? Let's buy one of these. And then over here, we'll probably buy some more... Engineering guilds, I guess. That'll work just perfectly, I think. It's you. Get down there with those guys. Affirmative. Yeah, because I got the space lock over here, we're gonna like you know reach these guys over here as well, but whatever. Let's take uh another bearing here we'll send over to B War. This is another like potentially hostile power over here, but it doesn't have any ships yet, hopefully, so we might be able to sneak in there. Ah, the Rurians. So they're very low, um, like, corruptibility, but they have, like, you know, at least a neutral matter to me, so that's nice. Ooh, nice. So these guys are like a science faction over here. Not bad. Let's go down there with them. You're going to go over here. And Hannah, of course, just keep pumping them out. Over here, these guys is going to pump out what? They got the research labs, but, you know, they're still hurting, like, you know, food depression, so that's not great, but whatever. I actually forgot to do this, by the way. I forget, like, the little free of this. I want to actually start getting my, like, you know... Biotech basically up at this point, so we'll start doing that over here. Let's get your science up for now. And of course, colony ship. Go! It's your money, so pick a planet to terraform. I'll take a while to terraform, but whatever. Terraforming is completed. That's what I want to see. 
It's your money, so pick a planet to terraform. It's your money, so pick a planet to terraform. Boys, let's get that done, and let's go from there. I'm all more, I'm Ash. I'm really good going to these guys and say, do you want to have a trade with me? I won't bother trying to bribe them because, you know, they're neutral and they're, like, you know, low corrupt, but whatever. For about, for about these guys, whatever, let's go up here. And up there. So many colony ships, you know, but they're important. Uh oh! My spy ship found some referrians. They might be hostile. We'll see. Our investment in new technology has paid off. Greetings from the Rotharian Star Network. While we do not object to occasional diplomacy and commerce, we prefer to mind our own affairs. If you honor this desire, we will remain amicable neighbors. All right, so there's the Rotharians. They're of course the Roman knockoffs in this game. And of course, B War. These guys have very low corrupt ability. And they're generally very like, hostile as well, but whatever. I bet they probably declare war on like the um their fairness, these guys over here, but whatever. Affirmative. Trade? Actually, for these guys, I just want to offer my Russian if I can, so... We'll see if I take that one first. Let's get you over here. And at this point, I really should start going up, like, you know, hand, so... Let's get this over here, I guess, of you. We'll get that growers marker over here when I get the chance. And I forgot about this guy, but whatever. Let's get this going over here, I guess. And let's do this right over here when I get the chance as well. Uh, these guys don't have any titanium, apparently. Yet. They will soon, I guess. Just have to colonize the world's farm first. Let's just do it like that then for now for them. Terraforming is completed. There is oh. a diplomatic message pending. So these guys offered a trade agreement apparently. We'll set that. They declare war on us, because you know. They're hostile. Our production has been totally set in military goods. A friendly coexistence is now on not an option. Take good notice of our declaration of war now. And these guys are agreeing to like the research, that's great. I offer referrals to non-aggression trees, so we'll see how that goes in the future. And great, we've already got this done over here, so colonize. Is underway. It's your money. And terraform. Pick a planet to terraform. It's your money, so pick a And terraform. It's your money, so pick a planet to terraform. It's your money. I think I'm going to work on this for now for a little bit. Alright then, let's see how it goes. I have a fair trade route here, so let's make use of it to go over here. And so I going to like me a little bit more. They sent my non-aggression pact, apparently, so they're happy about that. Han and Beta basically look pretty good, too. Let's get, you know, more of these, I guess. I'll be needing them. These guys built up the farm, so they're looking great. Let's just get them to build up more engineering guilds. Now I'll start building up the research stuff that comes after it. Alright, very small sector over here. Um, I probably want to build like, you know, an outpost to get, get to get over to, I guess, so... 
That'll be something I want to do. There's also a wormhole as well, apparently. Affirmative. And it's got a third sector over here, the um, collision, so they're going slowly. Let's trade them. There is a diplomatic message pending. Oh, interesting. So, do you guys want to get an unlimited friendship tree? I'm good at this. I don't like the fact that they're right over here because it means I have to go down in this direction and, like, you know, expand, but, you know. That's fine, just expand. That's all I hear I'm going to basically do it in early games. Just expand like crazy. So expand! 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 Or die. Alright, let's go a couple turns. There's them down here. They're pretty big, but you know, that's good, I guess. Let's get you over here. Our investment in new technology has paid off. Apparently I forgot to change the Beyond Slick thing over here, but that's fine. We're up to level 2 biotech now. Let's get to work on this, I guess. Affirmative. And yes, expand, expand, expand. Hmm, those won't take too long. It's your money, so pick a planet to terraform. Now let's get these guys to do something else over here. It's your money, so pick a planet to terraform. It's your money, so pick a planet to terraform. Alright, I'll have to get more colony ships soon, but you know, we have to build pens still a little bit, so we'll just do that at the for you know a little bit. And by the way, I have lots of money as you can see here to buy stuff, so that'll be useful later on. Need more population area, guys, but whatever. Terraforming is completed. Alright, that's done over here. You're just going to immediately colonize. Colonization is underway. I don't like how small this plant is, but I mean, at the same time, all these plants are, like, you know, crappy, so... We just have to send more colonies just basically get that done up there. Affirmative. Let's just leave you right there, I guess. Alright, these guys over here. As I said, this is going to be our research plant, so we have to basically get this to, you know, build up its research stuff. We'll build five more of those. And I have to get something over here, apparently, for this guy. So I entirely forgot to do anything with this guy over here, so whoops. Just build up lots of uh, farms for now. Then build these. This system belongs to the Heon. Our investment in new technology has paid off. All right, Bear Engineering Guild's right there. Now I'll start going after this. So this system over here will blow up a few premium markets. Engineering Guild's, of course. Nice little metal bonus there, for harvesting. One more turn, I'll be able to start colonizing over here, I guess, but... We have to start, I'll probably try and colonize these free plants, you know, terraform these free plants first before doing anything else, so that'll probably be my plan over there. There we go. That one's done. It's your money, so 
pick a planet to terraform. I'll be fine, I think, just for now. Yeah, it's skipping turns here at this point, because, you know, we just need to terraform this stuff real fast. This stuff, too. And yeah, over here is let's keep pumping out the uh, research stuff, but we'll get this stuff here first if I can. I don't like that nugget of food actually, by the way, so we'll build a few of these first. And I can start on this for now. All right, excellent. This, of course, needs to have, like, you know, the damn things upgraded, like, you know, titanium and stuff, but whatever. It's funny, I'm actually going to use this for a titanium mine world, and I can't build a titanium mine, so I don't have, the, you know, the thing on the world yet, so... This got to wait a little bit, I guess. Let's build five more bills, I guess. It's your money, so pick a planet to terraform. Let's get that done. Our investment in new technology has paid off. There's my growers market too. Is completed. Let's try and get everything like you know. At least up to like, you know, level one, I guess, at this point, so. Do this. It's your money, so pick a planet to terraform. That'll just be fine, I think, starting air. We'll colonize these three, like, you know, small worlds, and we'll, like, you know, colonize this in three turns or so. And there we go, a new colony. I'll buy myself a few pre markets in here. A few base engineering guilds. And it's a very small system over here, so I can't really do much of it, but you know. They can do research, I guess, easily enough. Let's just have to start doing that when it gets a chance. All right, Makadu is basically done over here. These guys can build space dock now, so let's just you know buy this quickly. And yeah, again, I didn't like you know get one of the worlds with you know with any like you know metal on it, apparently. But oh well. I kind of forgot to do anything over here in Bay Artar, so let's just you know, get this guy doing something. Get that out of the way. Get some titanium going over here if I can. Our investment in new technology has paid off. Right, so there's some stuff done. So we got energy and computer space research there. And this is going to come off like, you know, later on. I might just keep it as is for now so you know, get like the access to our stuff here as well. So why not? We're going to go down here and have a look around, I guess. So we'll see what's in this like little world. These guys were putting titanium over here, right? So let's do this, I think, for now. 
And we'll upgrade all of our engineering guilds over here. And while we're at, let's just go check all these guys for like their population, so... This guy's enough for two trade routes, so... Referis? Sidicinum. Um, I guess that's it for now, because, you know... You only get three trade routes over here in hand, and, like, you know, it's a little bit... Um, any 20 um, billion for your guys as well, so... We'll get to them when we get to them. Cuts is apparently done stuff, so let's build up some mines over here, I guess, or the gross market first, then the mines. Okay, he needs five billion more people, this guy over here, so... I think we can probably do, like, you know, just doing this for a little bit, and then we'll do that. And then we'll finally do this and get this all the way. And Mechadoo's done over here, so I'll just build this up. That'll work just fine for a little bit, I think. Our investment in new technology has paid off. That's my first attack ship, the Vantor class. It's really nothing special, but whatever. You know, it's very funny, but in this game, the, like, you know, Ferengi, um, the, no, not Ferengi, but the Heian, like, ships basically look very much like the Federation ships, and, like, you know, the first, like, you know, Birth of Federation game. Greetings from the Qatari Union. Oh, that's something scary. Alright, so, I played these guys last time, and as you can see, they're very hostile. They don't like to attack whoever they can get, you know, their hands on to start here, so... They're down here, apparently. Affirmative. I'll have to watch out for that, but whatever. In the meantime, let's just try and make friends with them. I got the money, right, so... Friendship? With 5,000 credits? For 50 turns? What do you say? That's nice being with the hand, by the way. You can just pay off people if you want. Alright, these guys over here. They also want to build up stuff. Do you have, like, an artillery here available? You do not, but whatever. You're still, like, doing your stuff there. You're still growing as well. You don't actually have anything to begin with. I just have to do it over here with hand for now, because, you know, why not? And these guys just, like, build up, like, you know, this and this. And I know that it takes, like, three turns, basically, to build these up, but, you know... I'm just going to pump these out as quickly as possible so, like, you know, to get over here and, like, terraform this and, like, you know, try and get down to these other sectors as well. Alright then, so... I have access to new special research here. And I have experienced storage and transport, so... I get one additional resource transport on very small systems, want no interstellar storage penalty, or the double director of storage. Ah, let's see here. I'll note by the way there's only like one really small system, I guess, like, you know, that wouldn't be able to trade in my area. Um, this one over here, so... This is a really good resource if you, if you have like, um, years versus problem like your very small plants, like, you know, if you have like, like you know, um, single digit, like, billion, like, you know, um, plants, like, systems. This is great to have, but, you know, we don't have any of those right now. This actually isn't a bad idea, getting the interstellar storage one. Um, if I basically get this, by the way, like, you know... Um, I can basically transfer my stuff basically without, like, resource routes at all, if I want to. Which is not a bad thing. Eventually you can, like, build, like, you know, your, like, you know, distribution facilities, but, you know, it's a thing. 
There's also direct room storage over here. Um, I'm not really sure, but I don't think I really have very expensive ships for direct room, so... Let's do a quick check of that. Basically, all these guys here, like, you know, I don't think they take, like, you know... Well, I guess you can't check from here, but... Um, they don't really take a whole lot to, you know, in a direct room, they basically build a lot of this stuff for, like, the, um, hang on, because they're all cheap ships. I don't usually do this, but let's just get ourselves the interstellar storage pal room penalty. Let's go for that one when I get the chance to. And let's keep focusing on this stuff over here. And you know what? I think I'll basically conclude this episode. We got went like a nice little distance. I managed to get like, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, systems basically under my belt. That's actually really good for the Heian if like, you know, you're lucky. If I basically grab the stuff over here, definitely this one over here. Then I basically all step basically do stuff, so yeah, I'm looking where I'm I'm liking where I'm at right now. I'll see how far I go. I was gonna quickly delete all the um Katara Invader ones here because I know I'm using these, so delete, delete, delete. Just a few to delete here. Eight more, and we're done. And let's save. Alright, well, I will see you guys next time when we basically continue this impossible game. And I'll see where it takes me, but for now, take care.